For my blended learning, I am going to be teaching on the structure and function of the human heart. I want students to be able to grasp the concepts that I'm about to teach them. So I'm gonna be integrating my lesson with technology. And I'm gonna be using the flipped classroom approach. In that way, students are able to use the materials at home and come to school ready to learn at a higher blue taxonomy level. So embedded in my lesson are going to be useful infographs and info pics. So I'm going to be showing you how this is going to enhance my lessons further. So the importance of using an info pic in your lesson is that it helps the students have a view of what they're going to be learning. It's very catching. The students are able to already begin to um, be drawn to the lesson even before the lesson begins. So in this my info pic, you can see the structure of the heart. You can see the picture of the structure of the heart. You can see the various chambers. You can see how blood flows in and out. You can also see the title of the lesson that you're about to learn, which is the structure and function of the heart. And then you can also see um, the major focus of the lesson, which, which is how blood flows in and out of the heart. As students begin to view this, they are already getting interested in learning more. So the difference between an info pic and an, and an infograph is that an info pic involves the use of pictures. So for me, I have used a very, very interesting picture, which is the picture of the structure of the heart. And then you're going to be seeing my nest infograph. Another very important aspect of creating your lesson is making use of infographics. Infographics are graphic visual representation of information, data, or knowledge. So when you use an infographic, the students are able to clearly see what a lesson is going to be about. In my infographic, as you can see here, I have included the topic of the lesson. I have also broken down my lesson into three stages. The first stage is when the students begin to gain an understanding of how blood flows in and out of the heart. At the second stage, that's when they begin to demonstrate their learning. They are going to analyze, they're going to synthesize what their learning has been about while they demonstrate. Finally, at the third stage is when the students begin to create a model of what they have learned. This is really very important because in my infographic, I have clearly explained to the students what they're, they're going to expect when they are viewing the lesson or when they are receiving the lesson. The students are already becoming very interested as they look at the infographic. So this is the importance of using the infographic in your lesson.